segment, we are going to talk all about allergies with Elizabeth Goldenberg. She is the founder and president of One Spot Allergy. And uh, Elizabeth, allergies are a big deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially being a mom with a little one who has an allergy. Um, this is a, is a brilliant little business that you have right now. Mm -hmm. um, I am fascinated by it, and I'm so thrilled to be in London and to see something like this. So One Spot Allergy, yeah. what are we going to see at One Spot Allergy? Well, OneSpotAllergy.ca and OneSpotAllergy.com are my websites where I offer my best picks for products for living safely with food allergies. So it's one small aspect of what I do right now is my retail site. Um, and they go through safety accessories, tools to help you communicate about allergies because you have to educate caregivers, babysitters, family members, and uh, tools to help you avoid accidental exposures to allergens. So I bring in my best picks of what will help keep you safe and help make your life easier. And I'm constantly adding to it from suggestions. And what's spun out of One Spot Allergy the retail sites is there's now a blog, there's now a Facebook page, and I'm constantly interacting with other food allergy parents who are living the same life I am. We would have a ton in common. Mm -hmm. You're trying to protect your child from dairy. I'm trying to protect my child from peanut citrina. Okay, so for an example, let's say Sabrina goes on and she has that. What would she do or anybody else watching? My daughter has an allergy to dairy and then... What would come She from would it? go through my website, yeah. through onespotallergy.ca, and on the left at the bottom it says find us on Facebook, find us on Twitter. In fact, they're finding me. Uh, people have immediate access to me at this point. So if Sabrina went on, found my Facebook page, you can also just go on Facebook and type in One Spot Allergy. Mm -hmm. um, she hits like at the top of the page. She can add a comment to my page and she can say, I'm living in Ontario. Um, I have a dairy allergic child. Does anyone have any suggestions for safe cookies I can buy? Oh, and dear. I have hundreds of readers who will pop in immediately. So through the course of a day, there might be 25 comments on that. You have to weed through them a bit because some people are writing from the U.S. There are some variations in what's available. Um, I'm reading everything and steering the conversation, adding links if I know of some resource. Um, so that's the kind of interaction that goes on every day. Uh, recently people have been talking on my page about vacation travel and traveling safely, flying safely with food allergies is a big issue. That's crazy because I'm yeah. telling you just for us to go out to dinner it um, it stresses me out, mm -hmm. it makes me anxious and I really essentially try to avoid it. So going on a vacation, yeah right. You a know? vacation is a very big step. I mean one thing I've just introduced, I just put it on my site yesterday, is an airline safety kit because people were saying I feel like I'm ready for battle with extra EpiPens and wipes, and some people need to cover the airline seats, uh, bring their own food. Well, it's a really compact kit that sort of makes you think of everything and keeps it all in a neat, tidy package. Uh, but you really have to think about your destination. And there are actually travel planners who focus exclusively on food allergies. There's a Disney vacation planner who focuses on food allergy. Jeez. That's how big an issue it is. And going to school is a big issue. And I actually was a bit out of sorts just before school started this year because we'd reached a level of safety and comfort last year with our son's teacher. She has a food allergic child and she carries an EpiPen. And here I was, you know, getting ready to talk to a new teacher. Sure enough, she has a severe allergy. So, oh, well. you well, know, it's it a little so bit easier. Common Somebody, now. Someone who understands a little. Now, my daughter's not in school yet, but she is in daycare. So, even just doing the whole daycare thing, um, whew, you know, I can spend 10 minutes a day easily just covering over the basics. So, you've brought some things here today. Let's, uh, let's have a look at them. Is this something that is for school age children? What is this? This is a medication belt that, that is a custom fit. Uh, to exactly fit the EpiPen that people use for emergency medication. People with food allergies need to have an injector on their body at all times. If you're talking about a nursery school age child, do schools will vary. Fit? These are ones that fit? They do come children? in small and I actually supply a daycare in Ottawa with belts that they provide uh, I can help you close that. They provide it to their uh, preschoolers because they insist on the young children wearing their medication. So they just bought four small belts from me. Um, in other places, the teachers will wear them. School-aged children, definitely your child starts kindergarten. 
Um, they can certainly wear their own medication. Children don't tinker with it. They just keep it on their body. And my son's so trained with that, he just doesn't feel safe if he's not wearing his medication belt if he steps outside my home. Where did this idea come from? How did this start? The business idea? Yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, learned my son had food allergies about six years ago. I was a practicing lawyer. I had no interest in starting a retail site or becoming a food allergy advocate or, or expert. Um, but after about a year of looking after him, I realized I had systems in place where I felt I had covered off. How do I train people? How do I help him avoid accidental exposure? How do I know he's got access to medication at all times? And I wanted to share it, and it's funny you had a doula on, because I held that idea for five years, and I finally started using the analogy of being pregnant too long. I just had to finally let this idea out, start sharing what I think helps keep people safer, and uh, begin to speak up on behalf of the allergy community. So glad you did. Could you pass the picture here? Because I, I would mm -hmm. love to hold this up and get a shot. You know, accidents happen. Oh, and, boy. you know, the fact that you're around, you're such a resource. But this picture here is really essentially what we want to try and avoid. Mm -hmm. I've seen it on my own daughter. This is actually an anaphylactic shock that this child is going through. It is absolutely devastating. It's terrifying for the child. And it's life-threatening. So all of these resources that you have and the tools that you have, um, you know, are, are definitely useful, um, great information. Yeah. I hope so. I want to tell you one thing. I have at personal request, repeated personal request, started a parents group for uh, food allergy parents. And it's meeting, I hope you come as a parent of a food allergic child, either this Saturday, uh, it's at Masonville Library, 2 to 4, and save the date, there's an October 23rd meeting from 2 to 4. Okay, so have so th much in common. What time on Saturday? It's 2 p.m. 2 p.m. at the Masonville Public Library. And how long will it run? It's a two-hour meeting. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm making it very casual and social because I really find that we all have so much to talk about. You know, if it's that they have a common allergen or a common issue, you know, finding daycare, finding a good restaurant, uh, finding a place to take a trip, handling medication. You know, there's really a lot that we can share and help each other with. Thank you so much Thank for you, being Elizabeth. here today. Amazing. It's my pleasure. It really is. One spot, uh, one spot allergy .ca is the website and the phone number 519-433-8443.